Hi, I'm Shikha. You're watching this video from JustTutors.com. So today we are going to learn about throwing of dice and tossing of coins simultaneously one by one. So here, before that, there is a warm up for you. What you can do? Just pause the video, try these two questions. Assuming that you have done it, now we can check the answer. So here, when two coins are tossed simultaneously, what are the total outcomes? For two coins, it's four. It can be the two heads, two tails. One hand, one tail, or one tail, one hand. So total, there are four outcomes, and here, two different coins toss simultaneously, and this time we need to find the probability of getting two heads. So for getting two heads, the probability, just p, will be one over one over four, as there are four outcomes. And there is only one event that is two heads. So this is the probability. And if you got them is the answer, that's really amazing. So let us learn more about it. So first of all, let us see this one. So there are some tricks I'm going to share you so that you can solve many such questions related to dice and coins. So here let us learn about dice first. So when two dice are thrown simultaneously, the number of events can be. Six square that is thirty six because each die has one to six number, so together it can be it will be total thirty six. So you can see suppose this is die one, this is the die two. So you can see all the total outcomes and all together they are thirty six. So with the help of this table now we are, we can try some questions. So let us try this one. So here, what is the probability that the sum of the two numbers appearing on the top of the dice is twelve? So twelve, I can see only this outcome will give me twelve. Six at six, twelve. So here, it's only one event, and total outcomes are thirty-six. So the probability here is one over thirty-six. So this is the probability here. Now for the next one, this one, the sum should be two. So here. Only this number is going to give me two. One at one. So again, the probability is one over thirty-six. Now I need to think of a number whose sum will give me the outcomes whose sum will give me seven. So here now it's a time for trick. So since six at one is seven, what you need to do just go diagonally like this. So here. These all are the possible outcomes: one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, favorable outcomes are six. What we need, and total outcomes are thirty-six. So it will be six over thirty-six, and if we will simplify this further, it will be one over six. So this is trick here that instead of looking for the number, just go diagonally. So here it's only. There is no diagonal numbers here, so it's only one here. Similarly with this one, but for any other number, you can try this one. So now let us move to this part, which is tossing of coin. So here, when we toss a coin, we can see only two possible outcomes: that is head and tail. But if you will toss two coins together, let's see what are the possible outcomes. So here we can write them all the possible outcome. So in the first one, both can be head. So It can be like this. The other outcome, both can be tail, in this manner. After this, in this one, one can be head, and the other one can be tail. So this is the other outcome, and in the last one, this one can be tail, and this one can be head. So these are only the four possible outcome. Apart from them, you cannot see any other outcome. So here. Let us try this question now. So Varun tosses two different coins simultaneously. What is the probability that he get at least one head? So at least one head or more than that? So this one, if we can see, apart from this, all the three outcomes are possible. So here the event is three, and total outcomes are four. So the probability of getting at least one head will be three over four. That's my answer here. Now. It's a practice time for you, so let us try a part here. So once again, a die is thrown twice. We need to find the sum of two numbers appearing on the die. As on the top of the die is ten. So here, let us find ten. So ten, five, eight, five, ten. What do you need to do? Just go diagonally. So I can see only three events there. So it will be 
probability will be 3 over 36 and if I will simplify this further it will be 1 over 12 so my answer here is 1 over 12 now what you can do just pause the video try these I hope you have done it so you can check your answer from this answer slide and if you got them correctly that's really amazing you're doing very good here just call your parents and show your progress to them so here thank you for watching the video for more please visit justtutors.com